I just saw It Chapter 2 last night. Thought I'd do a quick review this morning on my way to work. So let's dive right in. The sun keeps popping in and out of the clouds over there, so on occasion I just get blasted with a beam of energy right in my face. So if I light up once in a while, it's because the sun's lighting me up. Anyway, uh, beyond that, I'm in my car, I'm outside the theater that I saw this at, just just for fun, I guess. It Chapter 2 sees our characters all grown up 27 years later. It's based off the book. It also follows the same formula as the TV series, where the first chapter was all about the kids. Second chapter is 90, 80, 85% about the adults. What I wasn't sure they were going to do, and they absolutely did, was do flashbacks to their younger versions again, and I thought that was great. I was chatting with some people online, and they, they, they were put off by that, but I, I thought that was the highlight. And the reason I think this works so well is this, this movie's a lot darker in, in tone, in feel, than the previous entry, which was also you know pretty haunting all around. But where the first one had a lot of kids being kids antics mixed in, this one has our adults doing day-to-day -day jobs, uh, you know, dealing with the fallout of the traumatizing experience when they're younger. Even though Richie is a comedian now, there's still this deep-seated pain inside, which is addressed as the film progresses. And speaking of, Richie is my favorite character once again this time around, and he's played by Bill Hader. The casting department knocked it out of the park. I think all the older incarnations really do resemble the younger selves. As good as the new cast does, although a lot of them are kind of just one-dimensional this time because they're just broken people, there isn't a lot for them to have fun with. Uh, Jessica Chastain, for instance, really doesn't get to do a whole lot other than be pretty sad the whole time, which is understandable. That's, that's the character, um, which is why I do like the older stuff more with the, with the kids and the, the hijinks and all that, just you know, running their mouths at each other, and it really, it's really relatable in that sense. As far as the scares go and stuff, I think this one is scarier than the first one by quite a bit. There's a lot more, I think, intense violence and gore. In the first chapter, it's a little bizarre that Pennywise even takes the form of a clown because he barely jokes and he's not silly in the slightest. In this one, however, they do they do step up the clown game a bit more. Outside of the balloons, he's just, he's just sillier. I, I found myself laughing at him on occasion. And I, I looked forward to seeing him more than I did some of the other horrific elements because I thought he was the lightest of the bunch. I was thinking about this after and it chapter one and two really do seem like they're one of a kind in the sense that they're these huge blockbuster horror movies. I can't really think of another like pure scary horror franchise that's been around. You know you have obviously Alien and Predator and I, you could say Jurassic Park I guess in a sense but those are very much either lighter or more action-packed or sci-fi, you know, fantasy. This is just very much straight schlocky horror. And I'd love to see more of this. I'm glad that there's this big budget put into something like this. The cinematography is great. The music, once again, is, is pretty top-notch, although it doesn't have a lot of standout moments like the first, which I do think chapter one is, is stronger uh, for the most part. Uh, Scares-wise, I said this one's better. And I think the CG work, you know, it, it varies from just incredible, uh, lifelike, to, well, that could have maybe used another round, maybe another touch-up coat. But for the most part, you're in the movie. You're not taken out. This film, I think, is 30 minutes longer, even. It's, it's pushing three hours. It's like two hours and 45 minutes. There's no real scenes that I could look back on and say that could have been cut outside of maybe five or ten minutes worth. Uh, they could have trimmed it back a little, but I don't think that the scenes they kept in, you know, detract from the overall tone or story or anything like that. Because this is a horror film, some of the characters don't really act how they should. There's a few moments where I'm, I'm just like, really? Adults? Really parents? This is how you're going to respond to this? Um, where, where characters are just like chewing out little kids or screaming at them to the top of their lungs and the parents like right next to the kid and the parents just like, okay, let's go. And they just walk away like, really? That's the reaction you're going to give some stranger who's like shaking your kid uncontrollably or swearing up a storm at him. There's also, there's a part where they, they trash a restaurant and the waitress is like, are we, are we good to go? Are you guys all set? Are you ready to pay your bill? Like nothing bigger than that. There's no cop calls. They get away with murder, literally, in this film, and there's no real consequence or nothing's really followed up on. So in that regard, you know, there's still plenty of just kind of silly nonsense. But for the most part, 
yeah, I, I really enjoyed this, and I think it was a, a fitting second chapter. And there's that sun. On Car Side Reviews, I was going to have a, you know, like a clever rating system outside of just doing the numbered score I used to do here. And it was essentially going to break down to, you know, see it in theaters, wait till it's on DVD, avoid it at all costs. Um, I haven't come up with a clever, like, term for each of these yet. But for now, I'm just going to say this is a this is a see in theaters for sure. So head out to the movies. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you like car side reviews or movie feuds or, uh, you know, rankings. I do a lot of that stuff. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you around.